Have you been taking TMG? Maybe for better energy, mood, or homocysteine support? But suddenly you're feeling anxious, jittery, maybe even irritable or spaced out. Well, it might not be your stress levels or your caffeine. You could actually be overmethylating. That's right. TMG can backfire if your methylation pathways aren't in balance. My name is Pharmacist Michael, and today I'm going to walk you through exactly what that means, how to spot the signs, and what to do about it, because more isn't always better. Before we fix the problem, let's understand what's happening behind the scenes. Methylation is a biochemical process that your body uses every single day to repair DNA, regulate neurotransmitters, detoxify the liver, and support energy production. TMG is a methyl donor. It gives your body extra methyl groups to support this system. That can be a good thing if your body needs them. But if your methylation system is already working just fine, or you're genetically predisposed to overmethylation, Adding more TMG can flood the system. Think of it like overfueling a fire. It doesn't help. It overwhelms. And when that happens, your neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine can go into overdrive. If your body's overmethylating, it's going to let you know. And these symptoms are your early warning system. Here are the most common symptoms people report when they're overmethylating, especially after starting or increasing TMG. Anxiety or panic attacks, restlessness, racing thoughts, or insomnia, irritability or mood swings, brain fog or feeling wired but tired, digestive upset, nausea, bloating, or loose stools, headaches or pressure behind the eyes, and light or sound sensitivity. If you felt great when you first started TMG, but then things took a turn, this might be why. These symptoms often show up within days or even hours of increasing your dose. So what exactly is going on inside your cells when TMG overloads the system? When you take TMG, it donates methyl groups via the betaine homocysteine methyltransferase or BHMT pathway, helping convert homocysteine into methionine. This seems great on paper, until the methyl pool gets too full. Then the body begins producing excess neurotransmitters, especially dopamine and epinephrine, leading to overstimulation. At the same time, you may deplete cofactors like magnesium, B2, and B3, making everything worse. And if you already take methylfolate or methyl B12, those can stack with TMG and amplify the effect. So while TMG is helpful for people with undermethylation or high homocysteine, it can cause issues for those with the opposite pattern, or if your body needs shift over time. The good news? You can bring your methylation back into balance, and it usually doesn't take much. Here's what to do if you think you're overmethylating from TMG. Stop or reduce your TMG dosage. Most people feel better within one to three days of lowering or stopping it altogether. Avoid stacking with other methyl donors. This includes methyl B12, methylfolate, and SAMe, at least temporarily. Balance with calming nutrients. Niacin or vitamin B3 at low doses, 25 to 100 milligrams, can use up excess methyl groups. Magnesium, this helps calm the nervous system and regulates neurotransmitters. Glycine or taurine, both are calming amino acids that support neurotransmitter balance. Track your symptoms. Write down how you feel, what supplements you're taking, and any changes in sleep, digestion, or mood. Sometimes it's not about quitting TMG forever. It's about dosing appropriately based on your personal biochemistry. Your genetics might be the key to why TMG hits you hard and how to personalize your stack. If you've ever done genetic testing, like from 23andMe or Ancestry, you might want to look at genes like COMT, 
Fast COMT metabolizers tend to tolerate methylation better. Slow COMT, you're more prone to anxiety and dopamine overload. MTHFR, those with certain variants, may benefit from methyl donors, but need careful balancing. MAOA, involved in serotonin breakdown. Overmethylation can stress this system too. Understanding these genetic nuances can help you fine tune your supplement strategy so you get the benefits without the burnout. You don't need to fear TMG, but you do need to respect your body's chemistry. TMG can be a fantastic tool for the right person at the right dose for the right reason. But if you're feeling off, wired, anxious, or overstimulated, it's time to step back and listen to your body. You're not broken. You're just out of balance. And now you know how to fix it. Have you experienced overmethylation from TMG or other supplements? I'd love to hear your story. Drop them in the comments below. Check out the TMG supplement, as well as other products I recommend in the description section of this video. And if this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who's experimenting with methylation, and subscribe for more evidence-based supplement advice. Don't forget to watch my other videos on TMG. I've placed them all in a playlist for your convenience. I'm Pharmacist Michael. Thanks for watching. Be balanced, be informed, and be healthy. And I'll see you in the next video.